<laughs> we're moving to Egypt. So um, the Temple of Osiris is a Middle Kingdom temple. And it's unusual because this is literally right out the back. And every other temple in Egypt is a temple. The temple shape is like um, generally seems to be long and rectangular. Um, whereas the temple above, it's like in an L shape. And one of the theories as why it's L shape is because they, in the Middle Kingdom, they were building a temple and then hit this other temple out the back that was below the ground level. And then we're like, oh, crap. Um, it, we're going to have to, we can't go over it. Mm -hmm. can't go under it we're gonna have to go around it and then they just sort of made this like weird l-shaped temple that you, you don't see anywhere else in in egypt it's just a weird takes a weird left turn um so, so like they found some ancient underground structure that that so when the egypt so that's the theory that when the egyptians were building that they found this uh, uh more deeper yeah so the theory is is that they that they either discovered it was there upon building the one that was on the top mm -hmm. or they knew it was there and they deliberately built um, on top of it and then decided gotcha. to do the, the weird L shape. The Assyrians relatively new to, to us. Um, it was only in the 19, the 1800s that it was like rediscovered. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it was completely like full of sand and debris and yeah. they really had to like clear it out. I'm going to make um, a discovery here uh, live on the Limitless channel. And that is, you see all that uh, limestone in the back, how it's like, it's got the same um, erosional patterns as the Sphinx. As are. the Sphinx. I, yeah. I, I will, yeah, I, I saw that and I went, oh my God, that's the Sphinx enclosure. Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad that you pointed that out because that's something I noticed as well. And I was like, yeah. It, isn't Doesn't it? that argue that it's like thousands of years old? I mean, there hasn't been rainfall in the last five thousand years in this part, and and uh, right? Doesn't that argue like that, that, that this is? I mean, I'm not a geologist, as I am not a scientist, but yeah. <laughs> clearly, but like I, I saw that with my eyes, and I went, "Wait a second! Yeah. The Sphinx enclosure and the Assyrian enclosure have the yeah. same sort of thing." Now, the the area, um. This is one of the, uh, this is um, not, it's nowhere near the Giza. This is right, you have to go right down. So this is in Abydos, which is a very ancient area of ancient Egypt. So we're talking, there's like second dynasty tombs down here. Uh -huh. So so it is an old area. So it would also make sense that there was an older, like established older ancient site. And we know that people build sites on top of old sites. But yeah, so you can see here from like the aerial point of view, you've got this this temple, which looks like it would, in if it followed every other Middle Kingdom temple or mm -hmm. Late Kingdom, it would follow and go straight, and then it just takes this weird left turn and it goes, um, because the Assyrian is behind. And, and so that Temple of Seti, we, you're, you're, you, you would postulate that that is that is Egyptian, that that was built, you know, four thousand years ago or whatever. When when was that? Oh, a hundred. Uh, that's Middle Kingdom. So that's like, um, yeah. yeah those. So that yeah, about a thousand. BC. BC, yeah. So, yeah. and then, and then you're saying that so they were building the Temple of Seti potentially, and as they were creating it, they ran into the Assyrian. They realized that there was this ancient structure there, right dead in front of it, and then they went off to the left to complete the the construction of it. Yeah, people have theorized because of the shape. Um, I've also heard an argument yeah. that you can say, oh no, the shape was very deliberate because of sort of esoteric reasons and whatnot. But it's just odd that it's it's odd. It is odd, and it's, it's especially it's odd, odd now that we see the erosion on the side of the Assyrian that could that could indicate that it's, yes, it's very old. old. Yeah. Um, and when you the 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 temple above the temple of Seti, also called Temple of Osiris, it is so beautiful inside because it is covered floor to ceiling in uh, reliefs and hieroglyphs and stories and imagery, and it is colorful. It's one of the still like the most preserved colorful temples in Egypt. Beautiful. The Assyrian is nothing like it. There is not a uh -huh. there is not an original glyph to the uh -huh. original site. It's just, yeah, that's it. Beautiful. Um, and you can see that the temple was built by. It looks like everything that the dynastic Egyptians made, right? I mean, in terms of yeah. the, like, there's always like glyphs and and carvings and and like just just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But but lots of graffiti. And you're saying that in the Assyrian, there's none of that. No. 